let's do a TypeScript challenge. And you might be surprised that we do another TypeScript challenge because in the last one, we implemented a Turing complete language in TypeScript, namely BrainFuck. So essentially, we think since all Turing complete languages are virtually equally polar, powerful given unlimited amount of uh, memory and CPU power, that's it. We know that we can compile TypeScript in TypeScript. We know that we can compile React Native in TypeScript. So we don't need to do more challenges. I guess we don't. I think we've... I thought we've already reached the apex. We did a HTML in TypeScript, then we did a Turing complete language, and I have no idea what's about to come, but apparently it's now the next level. So I still thought it would be nice to, to do one, and I so I saw um, Ortaz Ferru who posted uh, Wordle, but types only, and I play Wordle every day. I share the... The you know I play with my mom, so every day we we exchange our results, and I thought it was a really cool idea. Um, and I didn't look at its solution at, at its solution, but I thought we could try to do it ourselves. Totally, <laughs> let's do it. So I have to give uh, Orta a credit. So that's his idea, but I thought it would be fun to to see to see if we can do it. And so this is how you know it would look like. You would set a word, so here this is a word you have to guess, React, and you give a try, and it should give you the proper emojis. So is it the the letter is at the correct place? Is it not at the correct place, or it's not even in the word? And so I wrote down the steps we would need to achieve. First, we would need, of course, to tokenize a word into a, an array of letters, so we can check it, each letter separately. And so just to to make it easy, we will also do it uppercase. So everything is uppercase. Then we need to check if a letter is, is contained into a, a word. And then we need to check, is it at the index? Is it just contained or it's not contained? So, And then the fourth, fourth step is to essentially have the full thing working. Ready? Four steps. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so let's talk a nice. Seems easy, but I with just types. <laughs> I think so. I think so. So we tokenize a word, which is a string. And we simply have a result, which is a, an array of string. And the default is empty. And so if the result length equals, no, no, sorry. <laughs> already getting oh, confused. Oh, it's quite easy. <laughs> so if the word extends, so we take the tail, so we infer the head. Oops. So we use string literals. So we take the head, we take, we infer the tail. So we add the head to the array and then we apply recursively tokenize to the remaining. If not, if it cannot be inferred, we return the result, which is a tokenized array. So here we do tokenize, the word suddenly becomes a tail, and here we add to the result the head. I see. So we kind of make use of it that a string is just like an array of characters. Yes. So let's try. React. Oh, and we want to make it uppercase as well, I guess. So React. Just, you know, so we don't have, uh, so we, it seems to work pretty nicely. I just need to do uppercase here. Things like this. Or maybe like this. Yeah. All right. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. So we're having fun. So now, is the letter contained in a word? So we have contains, so a letter, which is a string, and a word, which is, so we're going to get, we're going to take an array of strings. So, we, you know, we say, okay, we're, we, we're going to get, uh, we're going to get it tokenized, and, and we need an index to move forward, right? So a bit like here, we have results. Um, yeah, I mean, it just doesn't matter. Can be numbers. We could just can put zeros in it, I guess. So an empty array. I think. Can you even write this? Well, it doesn't matter. So, if 
um, the length of the result. Let me call it result. The length of the result is equal to the length of the word. We know that we're done and we can return false. If uh, if not, we check is the word at the current the letter at the current uh, place. So this is where actually to call it index makes sense. Um, is is the same? Then we return true. If not, we continue to the next one. So <laughs> if uh, the letter so in the word so at i length extends the letter we are looking for. Yeah, that's L. We return true. If not, we just do a recursive call, adding one to the, like increasing the index by one. So it will be letter, word, and the index. We just add one zero to the index. Wow. I, you, I think I'm still hanging on, <laughs> but just uh, don't get lost. So this is like the dot includes um, in yeah. JavaScript. Yes, but I types see. only. <laughs> but types only. <laughs> uh, let's try. So R is contained into, let's say, tokenize of, but then it should be uppercase, tokenize of React. This should result true. And if I do W, false. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. So now let's do step three, so which is to return. So is it contained or is it also exactly at the same place? Um, yeah, so type wordle. So we have the guess, which is an array of, you, you see here we tokenize everything up front and we also have it by using tokenize. So it's all tokenized up front and we have all, it also uppercase everything. So it's like, no mistakes. So we have the guess, the word to guess. So array of strings. And we're going to again oh, have the result, which is going to be the emojis. Um, so the result is a, an array of string. So now, if uh, the result length, I mean, always our stop con condition, right, when we deal with crazy recursive stuff. Uh, extends the C, uh, the yeah the length of the word. We return the result. If not, we need to do two checks. Is it at the same place, or oh, actually three three checks? Contains or not? So. Let me. <laughs> okay, let's do the green check mark. First. That seems like the the easiest one. Yes. You compare if two values are equal yeah. at a certain index. So guess at and the index is a result length. So this is our index. Extends the word at. Um, it's easy to get confused, no? <laughs> Here we return the green check mark. And if not, let me just uh, return a random one, red maybe. Just to test. And then we will add right. green or. So let's try. So. Mm, ah, we need to add it to the result. So. Um, oops. So here it's a recursive call. So to what's the name? Wordle. So we have the guess, we have the word, and to the result, we add this condition. And seems correct. So trace, react, and we have the C and A, yeah. So so this is correct, right? right the word to yeah. guess. So A and C that right position and the other ones are for the moment red so Blood, none is at the right position okay right so we have to and now turn we have them to... yellow in the next step yes and we turn it yellow if it's contains or not 
So if um, so contains so we have the letter in the word extends am I doing this correctly? Let's extends true, then it's yellow. If not, it's looks looks correct. Let me try React. Yeah. Uh, and if so, mm, if the solution it's on is the wrong, um, it's on the wrong um, right wrong. No. So the T maybe. is right and. The A, A is, is correct. A is in the wrong position. B L O is correct, but um, so this one is right. I like the nice hover when you <laughs> when you go over try. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is new. It didn't used to be like this. This is wild. Um, let's try. See, this is why you need to learn TypeScript. It's just so easy. Um, I don't. I forgot what was the. I think yesterday the word was. A, ga a gap. So here we have the A. If I do, but here we. So the, yeah, E wrong position, A seems to be correct. That seems right to me as well. I think. Well, first of all, <laughs> stunned. I think this code probably falls into the category. <laughs> when I wrote this code, only me and God knew <laughs> how it worked. And now <laughs> only God knows how it works. <laughs> but this is fun. And shout, shout out for, uh, to Orta for having the idea. I think it was a really fun idea. This was really fun to do. Definitely. Orta from the TypeScript or Previously on the TypeScript team, I actually met him in Amsterdam. What a nice guy, definitely shout out to him. He's the man. There are no other ways to, to say it. 